Hello, YouTube peoples. Uh, as you may have noticed, the Super Saidi vid had a distinct lack of bass. Um, part of the reason is that, I don't know if you can see, but there's a bed here and there's a bed here. Uh, so that sort of sucks up a little bit of the sound, but uh, I still have plenty of good bass in this drum when I'm listening to it. Um, for some reason, the, the recording was not picking that up. I'm thinking it's where I had the mic. So, uh, this video, we're going to talk about flams a little bit and give you a little uh, juicy sort of a teaser for the next video. And uh, also, we're going to use this to see if my Zoom H2 here, which I'm using to record, uh, will pick up the bass better if I'm in sort of a, uh, a different position in relation to it. So, let's talk about flams or separation of senses. Um, basically... Uh, let me just demonstrate what we're talking about here. It's where we put a, a doom and a ka on top of each other, and then we sort of uh, play with the hands individually. So I have one hand doing this, a malfu, and the other hand is something like. sort of thing that, that I find is really helpful for uh, beginning dancers or dancers who haven't danced with a lot of live music. Uh, when you have a syncopated rhythm like this, uh, we forget sometimes being drummers that it's a little scary to some people not, you know, having an accent that's not on the downbeat. So sometimes you can use this sort of uh, idea or this sort of technique to play the downbeat. So what I can do is play a ka on the one and the two. So what I get is, is uh, this. One, two, one, two, like that. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I can also count the downbeat on the one and two and. Uh, on the, the and of two, uh, I already have a slap and there's no point in playing because it doesn't really change the sound. But uh, if we want to do that on the one and two and, so we get uh, eighth note subdivision, then this is what it sounds like. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two. Kind of like that. Uh, this also works in melody. You can play like this. Uh, Or, you know, you can also use it to make a, a really great phrase in melody, like you can play. Uh, so that's a little bit about the power of flams. Uh, soon we will have a full-length video on this uh, and also a full-length instructional sheet on my website, which you can find here or here. Uh, I haven't uploaded any of these videos yet, so I haven't figured out which side the bar is going to be on. But, uh, well, you'll figure it out. If you know how to use a computer, then I'm sure you'll find the, li the link to my website. Uh, and once you do, you can find uh, instructional videos and, and uh more like these and contact info and also each one of these videos has an accompanying uh, worksheet that's written up uh, I have it in rich text format so you don't have to use a, a Microsoft product to open it and uh, you can sort of follow along with the notation if you need to and as always you know shoot me an email or send me a a, uh, a contact on YouTube if you have any questions or you have a request about a video or if you just want to say hey uh, I'll talk to you soon thanks guys